Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Just myself doing this little intro this morning. Nicola had a pretty horrendous migraine last night, so she's recovering in the van. Beautiful place to park up. Had a couple of false starts. The weather yesterday driving here was just horrendous. A few false starts uh, looking for a place to stay. It's a bit too urban, a bit too kind of noisy for our liking. So we brought ourselves here, tucked ourselves away, and a really quiet night. And pretty stunning morning, although a little bit, a little bit chilly on the old fingers. And I think that's going to be the theme of things over the next week or so. They even predicted some snow at the weekend. Now we have about an hour and a half's drive to our uh, planned destination this morning. And then we'll get the little ferry. And given the fact that if you know Lithuania and you hear that we're getting a ferry, you probably know where we're going to explore. But we'll catch up in about a couple of hours time. I'm gonna head back, make us some breakfast, get the van sorted for moving, and then we'll drive on and catch up at the ferry port. But what I have, what we've seen so far of Lithuania, very nice indeed. So guys, we have made it to the ferry port and we're obviously heading across to the Coronian Spit, but it all seems a bit haphazard, so not much recording. We'll just see you on the ferry. I think we're getting on this one. I think so. Ah, so that's us on the ferry. Who yeah, knows? the lady didn't actually speak English, so it was a bit like, sort of pointing, <laughs> coming back. Yeah, can we come back please? But of course, it's a really short ferry crossing. It's five minutes, 10 minutes or something. And how much was that? 41 euros. Return. So, and I think the park out of season, which I think is 1st of October, is only five euros to get in instead of 30, I think. But don't hold me to that. And we're planning on staying there tonight. And unfortunately, I think all of the wild camping spots are have been sort of removed. And so you're kind of at the mercy of the um, of the campsite. So I think that's about 30, 30 quid or something. But So quite expensive. But, yeah. uh, but at least we're getting a good day for yeah. it. And we thought the Norwegian fjord crossings were quick. That was a, literally about five minutes. So if you do come and do the Kronian Spit crossing, don't bother getting out. At least you didn't go and ask to make eggs or something this time as well. So, right, we're going to try to get parked up here and do a few facility-based tasks, if you know cook, what I mean. Toast. Oh, I was going to go for a pee. Feed her though. Yeah. Number one rule. So Nicola, the review on this toilet I'm going to go and use? Well, there was only one review with one star and it said it took them all the way to India. So I've got no idea what that means, but you're going first to check it out. I'll leave you guys behind. Actually, those loos weren't too bad in the grand scheme of things. They certainly didn't transport me to India. Anyway, I'm on toast duty. We're obviously going to get out of here soon because it's very noisy in the, in the port. I'm going to go and explore the spit. First up, Best feed the wife. Well, Nicola, before we get started, mm -hmm. there is one area that you're probably going to have to avoid. What's that? Bade well for me. No, it doesn't. Anyway, let's get going. It does look actually looking at the map like you're probably better off doing this by bike. Yeah. Um, we have we got, got bike. enough time. Yeah, we haven't got enough time though, really, have we? Oh. We should go get our trail running gear on and run around it. Not, not the speed I cycle at. <laughs> and the sun would always shine when we sat there, you and I. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. So, Nicola. Where are we heading to? We're well, heading to the sound catcher, but we're lost. <laughs> I did say I think we should have taken that other path. Yeah, but we're now parallel to that other path. I think it's up the hill. Hmm. Yeah, we're walking away from it now, I think. You've heard me talk about this before. When Nicola <laughs> gets involved in instructions, it's never straightforward. Bit of an adventure though. Should be up here. Oh. Should be up here, yeah? Yep. Famous last words, eh? It should be. I think it should be over there somewhere. So we're not going the right direction now. <laughs> Remember what happened last time we got lost? 
I've been trying to purge it from my memory. We saw a moose. We did. And apparently there's 35 moose on the Coronian spit. What do you see? The chances of us now seeing one are probably amped up. It'll be a big angry bull. I've got no idea. No idea. This way. We'll go this way. So apparently we've arrived. <laughs> arrived where? Oh, no, keep coming, come on. Oh, hang on then. I found it. <laughs> it's quite well camouflaged. <laughs> so what is this supposed to be? So this is meant to amplify the sounds of the forest. So you'll be able to see the birds, so not see them, hear the birds better. So up until that point, if someone had been in there listening, all they would have heard was our grunts and groans and frustrations <laughs> amplified. <laughs> River's gonna crap when you're gone, 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 gone. I don't hear anything different. <laughs> Nicola's terrible oh, tourism tourism. We sold another kicker. <laughs> Right, so let's let's do a little test. We'll walk away and we'll pretend to be a bird and see whether Nicola can hear, see whether it amplifies our sound. So if, it, if it's working, she should be able to hear something. I can't hear anything. Oh, here, chip, 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 chip. Well, yep, Nicola's terrible no. tourism tours. Nada, us into nothing. Lithuania. Well, what's your jibbering about now? Another kipper. Oh well. Fast. We shall wander back to the road and go see what other delights Nickel has in treat for us here on the Coronian Spit. Actually, to be fair, it's a really nice woodland to walk around. And we know how much Nicola loves her woodland. <laughs> So we have now brought ourselves to the Hill of Witches, which in bygone days, I think this is where all the witches and pagans came to party. But in the late 70s, early 80s, it was decided. To... I'm just remembering how in Tallinn that woman called me a witch. <laughs> oh yeah. This is the Hill of Nicholas then. And now there are about 80 sculptures that have been placed here, I say early 80s, and they're kind of looked after and replenished. And it's quite nice indeed, although this one here, Early on this morning said, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Hill of Witches is a theme park. What do I know? <laughs> I hope that Mike picked that up. What indeed do you know? I think I have found my throne. Don't think I'm going to be waiting on you. <laughs> Wouldn't fit in the van either with the amount of stuff you've got. A bit nicer than the thrones you've been sitting on lately. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola and her one-liners, eh? I'm not sure you've got a big club like that, though. <laughs> I was just commenting that that may have been my name in old myth mythology times. And then Nicola comes in with her one-liners. I don't think these sculptures were expecting to see tourists this time of the year. Look, we surprised them. Oh no, it was the flashing thing on my camera. What did you just say? I thought I saw the sculpture move, but what it was, it was, you know when you're focusing and you get the little yellow thing come up, it was that. Moving swiftly on. Do you think, Nicola, this one is fashioned on you and your current hair? Very funny. Well, really, that one actually does look quite like me. <laughs> me with a broken nose. <laughs> Go on then. Have I got to do it? Well, I would never fit. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure about sliding down that. I'm likely to end up with something sharp in my bum. <laughs> How cool is that? always get me to do dodgy things. <laughs> it's not dodgy, it's fun. 
famous last words. I'm not sure I'm going to get through here. How am I meant to get through and get my legs down? <laughs> oh, I'm never getting out of here. What, what, why have you come in that way? Why do you ever come in this way? Oh, I'm stuck. It's just an accident waiting to happen, you know that. I hope our travel insurance company doesn't watch the channel. <laughs> You're going to owe me for this. Any last words? Do you reckon the fire brigade had come out to somebody getting stuck in here? Your legs are still facing the wrong way. I know, I know, I know. I better not rip these trousers. Oh, I've got my foot stuck. It's not a slide. This was not never meant to be played on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Oh don't let me slide, don't let me slide, don't let me slide. Don't worry, I'll be able to speed it up in post to make it look like you're sliding. This is not fun. This is not fun. Oh, flipping it, flipping it. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Oh, flip me. Uh, you are down now, by the way. You could no, just... no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. What are you doing? Let me go, let me go. And that, kids, is how you don't play on a slide. Oh, that was not, that was not fun. That was not fun. And on that note... Oh! <laughs> and she just tripped over a big rock as well. <sighs> Why do I listen to him? Because I make you lunch. Speaking of which, Sculpture Park has been really good. Definitely worthwhile coming to visit the Hill of Witches. Don't climb on the exhibits. <laughs> lunch time. Well guys, I've decided to split this week's vlog up into a two-parter. So here's a little sneak peek about what's coming up next week, including more of Nicola's terrible tourism tours. But I'm already depressed enough without walking around the cemetery. Yeah. We carry on exploring the Coronian Spit, which I have to say really does start to deliver. It is absolutely beautiful. Definitely a advice coming here. We also try and feel miserably getting close to the Russian border before making our way back off the Kronian Spit to explore more of Lithuania. But I guess that will be a story for next time. Once again, thanks a lot for following along. Take care. Bye-bye.